All right, giddy. Hi and welcome. All right, I know I got to get this thing put together, but uh, uh, it's going to take me. I'm going to take my time with it because I'm going I'm to take the uh, the uh, drum, this magnificent little tool here, and see where the drums are at before I put them together. Uh, got to take everything out of the boxes. I'm not going to do an unboxing like people. I don't know. People are obsessed with boxes. I get you want to see how it's packed for shipping and stuff like that. I picked this uh, kit up in store simply due to the fact that uh it was uh cheaper than the shipping i can't imagine what it would cost to ship a drum kit i mean with the hardware and everything you probably i don't think it'd be 200 pounds of stuff that well brass symbols or whatever they are bronze or brass mm, yeah you're probably close to 200 pounds of shipping there so yeah you probably pay a lot but anyway okay so you're new to the drum kit now here's my expert newbie advice uh so I'm a guitar player that's been playing for about 45 years. Okay, I'm 50 years old now. Uh, my drum, my bass is now, even though I dabbled on the bass years ago, you could say I've been playing bass now for about a year. Mandolin, 30 years. Violin, okay, not that I'm very great at the violin because I don't play it often enough, uh, but probably about 30 years with those two. Um, I know it doesn't show in my playing, but, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's, but one thing I've learned from being a multi-instrumentalist is when you go from one instrument to another, the, there's a learning curve that is kind of the same. Uh, the first thing you're going to probably want to do, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, you know, drum experts either agreeing or disagreeing with this is learn how to set the kit up right so that it's ergonomic to you. So that's step number one. The second is to learn the basic beats and stuff like that uh, by having yourself set up in such a way that you're going to play comfortably, right? Because I know a lot of times people buy a used kit and then they just use a chair like that to play off of. You're going to give yourself back injuries doing that. Uh, it's the same with guitars with like really high action. You're going to give yourself uh, tendonitis or whatever, Um carpal tunnel all that horrible stuff and i do know a lot of self-taught drummers that have all kinds of thumb issues uh, back issues uh just uh, elbow issues because they learned how to play the wrong way and they, it started about they didn't set their kits up right so it comes down to the grip so you know like you know holding your uh grip but the first thing you got to really do before you even get into all that is just be active at learning the basics. Uh, like if you can't afford lessons, the great thing is, uh, although YouTube, uh, you guys probably seen these uh, commercials where uh, the guy comes out, he says, uh, you want to know why a lot of people try to learn guitar, but they don't. And they say it's cause they, because of YouTube. Basically you get like uh, a good lesson here, a good lesson here, a good lesson here, but it's out of context. So you don't look, okay, so one kitty, bought the guitar yesterday and he's learning a Steve Vialik, which is great, but he has no idea why he's doing that because he has no music theory, right? Well, drums are the same thing. Um, you have to learn the basic fundamentals. So you got your 40 fundamentals that you got to learn, right? And some people say start there. Some people say don't, uh, but it really comes down to getting the stick bouncing and stuff like that. So I'm already good at that stuff. Uh, just, I don't have a practice pad. I only have the drum kit. So I'll see how good I'm going to be on it, but I can get the stick moving, you know, my, with my hands nice and relaxed, relaxed. And if I'm just lying in bed, you know, using my knee as my practice pad, uh, my hands don't get stiff. They don't get sore. They don't stiffen up. I don't tense up the guitar, the bass, the mandolin, the violin, especially what am like, if you trust me, guys, if your first instrument is a violin, you hate yourself. That is probably the most hateful, hardest instrument to play. The, the only thing I think they say is harder is a French horn or the fife. Don't get me started on the fife. Uh, but the drums, the same thing is you have to learn how to play relaxed. And at first it's hard because your muscles are not conditioned to play. Well, the guitar is the same thing. Um, uh, drums are going to be the same thing. The first thing you want to instill in yourself is not to learn bad habits first and then have to break them later because usually those bad habits are going to cost you a lot. Uh, 
you won't play as much because it's uncomfortable, all that. But if you learn and there's enough YouTube videos out there for that, and that's what I've been doing is just getting advice, how to set up the pedal properly, how to set up, uh, how to hold the sticks properly. There's a lot of great things there and just get going on that first. So there, with guitar players, what you normally hear is, um, I don't want to learn music theory because I don't want to sound like everybody else. Well, the flash news is you actually do sound like everybody else that's self-taught right? And you're going to limit yourself there. Like you say, well, if I have this theory, there's too many rules right there. tells me you don't understand how theory works. It's not about rules. It's about creation. When you have theory, uh, you can actually hear the guitar. Like you can hear the, uh, like I, I'm at the point where, okay, my music theory is good enough where I can hear a, car, a, a chord progression in my head, right? But in that chord progression, I can also hear the solo over it. And then it's just like what Paul Gilbert said, here's your skill level. Here's the music in your head. Can you get them to join up? And when you have that, like when you don't even know what you don't know, what ends up happening is you learn something, but then you just plateau, right? And you think you're being all creative and stuff like that. But when you learn what you don't know and you realize, Hey, that takes that much knowledge and turns it into that. You can compose an entire song in your head. So right now, when I put a song together, I hear the guitar, right? I can hear the guitar solo. I can hear the bass behind that guitar solo and the rhythm, but I can also hear the, the, the drum beats that I'm going to put behind that. It's just a matter of learning the skill to put those beats behind what I can hear already. So in other words, I can, I can compose an entire song in my head just using theory. You know what I mean? So drums are no different. You can compose entire beats in your head uh, once you have the fundamentals down. And there's no reason why you shouldn't learn the fundamentals. Number one, you'll knock years off your learning curve. So... Uh, if you go and take a, the best is always to go and get a drum, like, you know, take drum lessons or guitar lessons, whatever. But if you're, you know, kind of on a budget or in debt trying to pay for stuff, uh, there's other ways. It's just, if you're just new to drums and you no other instrument, uh, I would definitely suggest lessons. If you're a multi-instrumentalist like myself, and you've already been through the process of learning a new instrument, you kind of already know where to look to start, you know, and the idea is to not learn bad habits first. So I'm going to leave the video at that for now, because I got to get this thing put together. Uh, I'll get it semi put together hopefully today and then, uh, uh, hopefully have, uh, it all together. Now I'll do a sound demo very soon for you. As soon as I get a chance, I got to get things set up, but there's a bunch of things I want to do first. So I want to take out the dial and see what the lugs are at and all that first before I put it together. But anyway, there we go. So that's my two cents. Uh, if you guys that have way more experience on the drums than me and you say, hey, if you're a newbie, do this first. Make your recommendations. Uh, rising tide floats all boats. All right, have yourselves a great day, eh? Oh, one last look at that. Anaconda burst. Oh.